Hey everybody, I'm Jack Rita and I'm a designer on the expansions for the classic Dune board game published by Gale Force 9. In this video I'm going to be talking about one of the most powerful weapons in the Dune game and that is the Laze Gun. Now I know some people like to say Laz Gun. I know that Frank Herbert pronounced it Lace Gun. I say Laze Gun because it's a laser gun. So that's why I say it that way. So Laze Gun is the most powerful weapon, not the most powerful, but one of the most powerful weapons in there, because there's no defense. It uh, It's going to kill your opponent's leader. And in fact, it says right on there, after play as part of your battle plan, automatically kills opponent's leader regardless of defense card used. Um, now, there is kind of a defense, and that is if your opponent is using a shield. Um, it's not really going to save their leader, though, but uh, it does foil the Lay's Gun. And you've got this interesting little pictogram here where shield plus Lay's Gun equals boom. It uh, it will cause an atomic explosion that kills all the leaders and forces in that territory. So Lay's Gun, very powerful, but you want to make sure that if you're playing it, you're not playing a shield with it, uh, unless your whole point was a kamikaze run to wipe out uh, a lot of forces of your opponent, or to prevent a win. Certainly, that is a nice fail-safe there. Um, you may keep this card if you win this battle. Another interesting thing about the Lay's Gun is that, um, yeah, if you win with it and and you didn't blow up, you're going to uh, you're going to get to keep this. But it also further explains. If anyone plays a shield in this battle, all forces, leaders, and spice in this battle's territory are lost to the Tleilaxa tanks and the Spice Bank. Both players lose this battle. No spice is paid for leaders, and all cards played are discarded. So you want to make sure, again, that you are being careful about this. Now, it does specify shield. It doesn't say projectile defense, and that is because you could play the Lay's Gun with Weirding Way. Now, Weirding Way is... It's a weapon. It counts as a projectile weapon unless you play another weapon in your battle plan. So you can play Weirding Way with a weapon, in which case Weirding Way itself will count as a projectile defense. That means that if you are using Weirding Way as a projectile defense, your opponent uses a Chris knife or a stunner or a Mala pistol, they do not kill your leader. You are protected. And you can play Weirding Way with the shield. You will be protected from a projectile weapon from your opponent, and you will not cause an atomic explosion. So, an interesting uh, fact to keep in mind is that it's, it takes a shield um, to make the Lay's gun go boom. Um, now, an interesting question that sometimes comes up, and it's mostly a thought experiment. It doesn't really happen much in the game, although it certainly can happen. Uh, but let's say that we're in a desert territory, uh, and fighting over spice, and there are three factions in that territory. And let's say factions one and two, they fight it out, and um, no leaders are killed in that battle, right? Um, but one side wins, and the other side loses, and so the losing forces go away. Um, and when we play, we like to put the leader discs down to let us know, all right, you you played that leader disc in that battle, they can't be used somewhere else. And then in the, in the subsequent battle in the same territory, you have a laser gun shield explosion. And the question is, does that leader who survived, that losing leader from the first battle, are they also killed in that explosion? And the answer is no, they're not, they're not killed. This habit of putting the leaders down on the board, it's not a formal thing that the rules say that leader counts as being in that territory. They they just can't be played somewhere else. But they that battle is over. They've hightailed it out of there, um, and now the uh, explosion only kills the current leaders, uh, but it does kill all the forces in that territory. So let's say there were four factions in there, and the laser gun shield explosion happens in the first or the second battle. Um, all the forces in the territory are killed, and any spice in that territory is sent to the tanks. Uh, even if there are advisors in that territory for some reason, then they too will go to the tanks. But yeah, you don't you don't lose your your leader from an earlier battle um, just because of the chaos that is caused by the boom equation. So. That's the Lay's Gun. It's a, it's a really cool card. It's the sort of thing that if the Bene Gesserit want to, to voice you to play or not play, they have to name it specifically. So they can't just say, 
you may not play a special weapon. Um, and even though it looks like a projectile weapon, it is not a projectile weapon. So it doesn't count as one, in, at least in terms of gameplay. So as always, tell me your funny stories about Lay's Guns and Lay's Gun Shield Explosions and any other questions you have about this fantastic card. I, I really like the artwork on this too. I think Ilya did a great job with that. I love it um, for that matter. I love the art on Weirding Way too. So uh, both are cool cards. Um, yeah, let me know your comments and your thoughts and tell me stories. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.